Hey cuties, Peachy here, welcome back to a new video and y'all, I was gonna be done for tonight but then of course there was something else. We have our very first like full-on clips, two full-on clips, full-on dance sequences from the new Monster High live action movie coming this fall. We also have a release date, we have so much to go over. Um, so let's get so into it. This week, VidCon is taking place in New York. And of course, at VidCon, there's all these properties and companies showing off their new uh, new projects, movies, shows. And of course, one of those companies is new uh, is Nickelodeon. And uh, of course, we also have a experience booth for Monster High. So at this booth, there were two screens that showed a never before seen footage of two dance sequences from the live action Monster High movie coming this fall. We also have a official release date and we'll get into that later but first huge thank you to at zombie x corn jay um these clips are all from his instagram stories and stuff so huge thank you to you jay if you're watching thank you for going for everyone who can't go and uh for standing in the heat in line to be able to capture this experience for all of us um so yeah let's take a look at these oh by the way the booth the actual booth he made a full-on live stream it's like 11 minutes long or even longer i'm not gonna play that here because i don't want to like you know bore you to death i mean it's still interesting and i'm gonna show some clips but still like if you want to watch the whole thing uh i'll leave the link down below to the um full-on live stream to his uh to his live stream on instagram if you want to watch it the full thing um and also just for information um i'm pr jay i'm pretty sure he's gonna make a his own video on the experience so keep a lookout for that i will leave and I, I will leave a link to his sub, uh, who, to his channel down below as well i cannot speak <laughs> i'm so excited um so first up let's actually take a look at those clips of the booths and then we'll take a look at those dance sequences oh my gosh I'm not gonna lie, the vibe here is like immaculate because it's like spooky spooky. It's not like, you know, it's it's very dark feeling and I like it. Hey guys, if you're joining the live, I'm going through the Monster High exhibit again, but to show you guys I'm live this time. If you are just joining, we're going to the Monster High like exhibit again. I wanted to just go on live and show you guys it before the YouTube video comes out. So yeah, we're just in the graveyard chilling at the moment, right? you know, waiting to come in. There's not much of a line now, so that's good. But yeah, if you guys are just joining, um, you just gotta wait a little bit and we'll be inside to see the booth. Frank is here too. But yeah, like first you walk in, you see all the gargoyles, the graveyard gates, and the graveyard, of course. So um, when I got here, the line was huge, and now there's not, not really a line, so you can just kind of like just get in easier. which is like Claudine's bed I'm assuming and then after you leave the bedroom you enter the high school classroom where you can do like a little test Hello. Uh, no I was already through here I'm just going through the slide yeah thank you though so you got some windows and then over here they're playing another song about how they hate humans but like, I don't know if like, um, Bully is in that either. Um, I have some clips of that, I'll post it on my story after. Sorry. And then you have this billboard. Right here it is. Let's see if we can see Gulia. Okay, Claudine's eyes look very scary in this. I don't know why. Give me a beat. Yeah, I don't see Gully in it. I'll post this clip after. 
Yeah, and then after you do the quiz, you bring it to the teacher and you get a free sash in whatever color you chose on your quiz. And that is pretty much the end of the Monster High thingy. It's kind of cute. Okay, wow. So that whole experience, the whole set design, all of the props and every like the ambient everything just looks so on point like jay said himself it looks it's immaculate the feeling it's like spooky creepy but like really cute and not too clean it's like i love it i love the classroom i love the different bedrooms i love just all of that they had they're also like dracula and his stuff and just all the lockers which actually didn't show but um again the full live is going to be down in the description the link will be down in the description so yes i mean the whole they did such a good job at executing all of these 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 things for for this whole um set design what like seriously it looks so good and obviously we also saw a clip of that uh classroom dancing scene which we will look at after the first dancing scene um and there's actually some monologue before they dance and uh so that's interesting so it's about like um hating half humans or something like that it's about half humans so um and we got some close-ups of uh, Heath and uh, Deuce and Cla Claudine as well. Um, Jay mentions that Cla Gulia is not in the clips and maybe she's not in the movie. Um, Gulia has been cast. We know she has been cast. Like, we know who the actor is. So, like, she is in a movie. We know she's in a movie. Same goes with Abby. It's just, I don't know why they haven't been, like, spotlighting that those two characters more. I don't know why, for which reason they are not... Um, they are not giving them character posters. They're not. They don't have character posters as of yet. So that's really weird. Um, but don't worry. Gulia's in the movie. Abby's in the movie. I just don't know why they're not in the clips. Maybe they come in later. I don't know. Um, I mean, Abby might be in the clips. We'll get to that later. But um, let's finally look. Let's finally look at this first dancing sequence that takes place in the uh, Monster High Monster High Hall. Probably like at the beginning of the movie, if I'm not mistaken. that's where it cuts off and i believe right where it ends we can see mummies come out with draculaura so maybe that's where cleo makes her grand entrance because from the clip we saw in the teaser we know that those mummies appear when cleo gets the spotlight so i'm pretty sure she gets her time to shine right after it cuts off um but um yeah this whole clip um is really nice we finally get to hear more of the song that's been in everyone's head you know stuck in everyone's head because it's such a bop i love Love this song i need it right now i want to hear it i want to listen to it 24 7 so i can't wait for the soundtrack to come out because you know since this is a musical there's going to be numerous original songs and i cannot wait um and then of course we get uh it's really interesting actually that the uh three main characters claudia and dracula and frankie they each get their own verses in this song you know they each sing their own parts and uh for each part we get more a close-up shot of each character so for claudia and obviously we can see she has those ears the um eyes like jay mentioned look a little weird and i can see that i can see why but i mean she's supposed to have yellowish eyes so like what were they gonna do you know um and maybe they glow brighter and less according to like moods so i don't know um the outfit she's wearing again stunning and then with draculaura and then frankie draculaura looks so so good like she's like voguing almost like she looks the best i need to be honest she looks so good she's slaying it she's slaying hard she's like dancing and like the choreography overall is really nice um and then frankie i think is the one who took me most by surprise not because of the way she looks but because of her movements um it almost makes her look like a robot. I'm not sure why they chose those specific choreography moves for Frankie. Because um, Frankie's not a robot. But it, like, you know what I mean? It kind of feels that way when she moves. When it's like her part, it, she moves in a very like clickety way. And I'm not sure if they were trying to aim for like the, like the kind of like, oh, she has a different limbs and she can like that kind of feel like maybe like a puppet feel because she you know she stitched together and stuff so maybe that's what they were trying to go for but like 
but like it just kind of looks like she's moving like a robot and like kind of weirdly and i'm like frankie are you okay like i don't i don't know hopefully she moves normally when she's walking and stuff like because if she's gonna always like move like like she's like strung up or like you know what i mean like if she's always gonna have that kind of movement to her where it's like oh like i'm moving weirdly because you, you know like again stitched together different limbs and stuff like i don't i don't know if i like that because <laughs> like you know yeah frankie has different limbs but she was always able to walk and do stuff you know like in the show and stuff but um yeah anyways i get this is a new era so maybe this is like a change i don't know it's just maybe this is just a dance maybe it's not maybe it's whatever <laughs> let's just okay let's move on either way she looks great um the frankie character she looks great and of course everyone looks great um and the outfits also look a little different. I mean, for Frankie, it looks a little different. Uh, Dracula or Claudine, that we've seen her outfit. So yeah, looks the same. Okay, now let's move on to... Oh, and by the way, yeah, of course, I like I mentioned earlier, Abby. Is that Abby? Like in a clip, we, can, we in a clip, we can see um, a girl wearing like leg warmers and stuff. She's like in all white. So maybe that's Abby. I'm not sure. May, might be Abby. <laughs> but now let's take a look at the second clip that takes place in the classroom classroom dance it's sequence it's again something about like humans half humans half monsters whatever uh because you know obviously claudine looks worried and then uh, this is obviously mr comos's song because he is uh, the new teacher character and uh, yeah i guess he's getting his own song he must be an important character <laughs> um it sounds good i need to hear the whole song though um and he damn he can do the splits like ooh, <laughs> that's gotta hurt um <laughs> but he looks good he looks better here i feel like all the characters look a little bit better when they move but maybe not for all of them but for him it definitely helps he's moving because he's like dynamic he's a dancer i, I think like he he he's got some moves but we also get to see obviously deuce and heath sitting together so maybe they are buds maybe not um and we obviously also get to see um Claudine and Frankie sitting together as well. Dracula is also here, but she's more in the background. We don't really get to see a good look at her outfit. She, we, we obviously can recognize her by her hair, but she, uh, she's wearing some like red skirt, so that's interesting. Um, and I think we can also see Laguna here, and again, Abby? Question mark. There's like unconfirmed characters here. I'm not sure who they are, but um. Yeah, the classroom setting, again, looks really good. The whole vibe, the set design looks really good. So I'm, I'm really excited because at least it looks good. And at least the songs sound good. So like, just the acting's gotta be, just the acting's left. And I really hope that it's also good. So um, overall, this looks really good. Um, what, what else to say? I don't know. Yeah, it looks great. What what can I say? I feel like I'm excited. I'm excited. I mean, yeah, like it's, again, we got to remember, it's a Nickelodeon movie. It's not like a high budget Hollywood movie. It's Nickelodeon. Okay, so let's, let's you know, we're getting what we're getting. And it's it can still be good. It doesn't have to be automatically bad just because it's Nickelodeon or, or anything. Like, it can still be good. It can still be entertaining at the very least. And I'm, I am very excited. And of course, the release date, we finally have it revealed as well. It's releasing on October 6th this year. It's going to come out in Nickelodeon. Uh, I guess they're going to play it on TV and on Paramount Plus, which is a streaming service. And uh, if you don't know already, they already have um, a lot of content, original content there, like the new SpongeBob series and like camp cretaceous no that's the jurassic world uh netflix series <laughs> um well, what's it called it's like called camp camp crystal or something it's a it's like a weird name oh camp coral or something yeah it's like about babies the spongebob spongebob characters as babies so they have a new series about that i think they're also working on a new sonic series with knuckles and stuff so uh, also like Dora, yeah, Dora, yeah, so, like some stuff. Um, really interesting. So, uh, but I don't, I don't think most people have Paramount Plus. So, I think most of us will just catch it on TV. Um, but honestly, I want to get it on DVD. Like, I want to get a real life copy of it because, like, I have some Monster High movies on DVD, and like, um, I want to complete my collection. I mean, I don't even have all of them on DVD, but it's just you know, it's kind of a big deal. It's a first live action movie for Monster High, like. You know if it's good or bad i don't it really doesn't matter because it's still like the first ever happening so if it doesn't if it ends up being bad then at least they will they will be able to uh rectify their mistakes in a in a second movie or whatever i hope i hope they make more movies uh, like a live action like this because there's so many monster high characters they, they could 
you know, bring into the live action universe. That would be so See, awesome. So, you can find the uh, ending bit for the first dance sequence from Monster High Insider on Instagram. Um, but I do believe this is also filmed by J. Do- Zombie X Corn. Uh, so, I'm not sure why I wasn't able to find this specific clip at, in his stories or posts. But, anyways, here it is, and here's the ending. It's really epic, and I love it. Again, love it. Thank you. Once again, huge thanks to Jay from Zombie X Corn here on YouTube, on Instagram. I will leave a link to his full live stream down below as well to his YouTube channel. See, so look, uh, keep a lookout for his full in-depth uh, tour of the Monster High uh, VidCon booth experience and also just the VidCon experience uh, overall. So thank you, Jay, once again. But yeah, that was the video. I hope y'all enjoyed. Be sure to give me a big thumbs up if you did. Be sure to leave me any thoughts or questions you may have down below. Let me know you thought of these first looks at these two dance sequences new songs the close-ups of the actors just the set design overall what do you think of these first looks let me know down below and as always don't forget to subscribe hit the notification bell if you haven't already so you don't miss out when i post more monster high doll news movie news animated show news doll reviews episode reaction videos a bunch more content coming your way daily and keeping up to date with all the doll tea you love stay safe be kind i hope this next time stay peachy Kisses.